It's no secret that healthy eating is super important for general health and well-being, but sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. You don't necessarily have the time or even the knowledge to make all of your meals super healthy and perfectly balanced. This is why I decided to help you by compiling some easy tricks to eat healthy. And adding just a few of these to your routine can really help boost your health journey with very little effort. Hopefully you find these healthy eating hacks helpful and let's get into them right now. Easy tips to eat healthy. Let's start out with some healthy eating swaps. An easy way to eat healthier without really realizing it is to, is to swap some of your favorite foods for more nutrient dense options. And by this, I don't mean like eating cauliflower crust pizza or like lettuce bun burgers. I mean, unless you love that, of course. It's really important that these swaps remain enjoyable to you. And also it's totally fine if you have the other option once in a while, you shouldn't feel any guilt for that or feel bad. It's just, again, a little tip to help you boost the nutrient intake of your food. So with that being said, here are a few different things you can try. Replace instant oatmeal with rolled oats. Instead of buying packs of quick oats with added sugar and flavorings, you can opt for rolled oats, which have more protein, more fiber, and more nutrients in general, no added sugar, and they are not pro as processed as quick oats. Steel cut oats are even less processed, but personally, I don't find their texture to be very satisfying because I still like getting that kind of mushy comforting texture with oatmeal but feel free to try them and obviously pick the one you like best replace refined grains with whole grains I can't stress this enough but if you replace your sources of refined grains with more whole grains it's such an easy way to get in more protein more fiber more nutrients in general and even better, eating whole grains is associated with certain health benefits and is also protective against certain chronic diseases. And if you're interested in the sources for what I'm saying, they are in my blog post in the description. You can opt for whole wheat pasta instead of white pasta, eat things that are made from buckwheat flour instead of white flour, opt for brown rice instead of white rice or for whole grain bread instead of white bread. There's many things that you can kind of replace like that. Choose your nut butter wisely. Nut butters are a great healthy and filling snack, but not all of them are created equal. Some of them contain tons of high fructose corn syrup and hydrogenated oils, and they contain more of that than actual nuts. So make sure to check the label and to make sure that you're only or mainly getting ground up nuts or even better make it yourself add spiralized veggies to your noodles now little disclaimer here i'm not suggesting that you replace your entire pasta dish with zoodles or like zucchini noodles that would be kind of sad for me who loves carbs this is more a tip to help you boost the nutrient content of your plate and rather than trying to reduce carbs which are totally fine to have and i made a video on carbs and the truth about carbs right here if you're interested or in the description so so if you mix some spiralized veggies like carrots, zucchini, turnips, squash, anything really that you find works, if you mix that with your pasta and then add some sauce, you won't even notice they're there and you'll be able to have a little bit more vitamins from the fresh veggies than if you were to only be eating pasta. And for people who don't like veggies, this is a great way to kind of sneak them in without really realizing it. Choose healthier oils. Oils can be a great way to add some healthy fat to your meals and also make your food feel more satisfying and taste better, but make sure that you're not getting like canola oil or sunflower oil and that you're preferring oils like olive oil or hemp oil, flaxseed oil, avocado oil, and I made a video on the different types of oils and which ones are best for cooking right here or in the description if you're interested. Switch up your salad dressing. Let's be honest, a salad without any salad dressing is not that good. It doesn't taste great. But why not replace that bottled dressing, pre-made dressing with something like tahini or hummus for a protein boost or try mashed avocado and lemon juice for some healthy fats and some vitamins and you can even try adding some nut butter yes i tried making a peanut dressing once and it was great 
don't hesitate to play around with different ingredients to get the taste right and this can be a fun way to spice up your salads all while getting a little more nutrition from the dressing. Easy food hacks. Here are a few easy food hacks to make your cooking easier and healthier with very little effort. Use frozen veggies. There's a common misconception that frozen veggies aren't as great as fresh veggies and that you should avoid them, but actually frozen veggies can even have more nutrients in some cases than fresh veggies because they are frozen at peak maturity and so you're getting really all of the nutrients. And if you add that to the fact that you don't always have the time to cut up fresh veggies before cooking or like before eating a meal, then frozen veggies are an amazing option. And if you prefer, you can also buy fresh veggies and cut them up beforehand so that it saves you time when it's time to cook. Make sure that you store them in airtight containers though. You can also cut up fruit and freeze it in like little packets so you have ready to go smoothies and you just have to throw that into a blender and it's easier and more convenient than having to cut up everything during breakfast in the morning. Still on the topic of smoothies, they are great vessels for sneaking foods that you never have the chance to actually eat or that you know that you're not getting enough of. You can add in some spinach leaves for a nutrient boost without really affecting the taste of your smoothie, or you can add some zucchini to give it a nice creamy taste all while still adding some nutrition to that. Adding some white beans is also a great way to get in more protein and adding some oats is a great way to get in more fiber. And I also love adding some seeds to my smoothies for another little nutrient boost. Speaking of seeds and adding them to your smoothies in addition, don't hesitate to also add them to your soups, your salads, your yogurts, your sandwiches, anywhere you want really, because they have a big variety of health benefits and there are so many different seeds to choose from, you're likely to find one that you really like. I love adding pumpkin or sesame seeds to my soups, chia seeds to my smoothies or fruit bowls, black seeds and hemp seeds to my salads. You can also make your own seed mix by combining all of your favorite seeds into an empty jar and just sprinkling that on your different dishes. And you can also sprinkle that on top of nut butter, it's really good. Sprinkle herbs and spices. In addition to seeds, herbs and spices are also a great and easy way to boost the benefits of your meal. They have many health benefits and they also have antioxidant effects and anti-tumor effects as well as anti-inflammatory effects. So don't hold back and add your favorite spices to your meal and top it off with some fresh herbs. For instance, I love making red lentil dishes with curry and turmeric, pepper, garlic, and some fresh cilantro. Healthy eating habits to try. Now here are a few more tips that relate more to kitchen organization or cooking in general. Make healthy foods more visible. It's so much easier to eat what you see, so replace that cookie jar on your kitchen counter with a bowl of fresh fruit. Rearrange your pantry so that the healthiest options are in the front. Stock the eye-level shelves of your fridge with a bunch of pre-cut veggies or fruit. Have a mix of nuts and seeds on your desk instead of bags of chips. This way you're making it easier and more convenient for yourself to reach for the healthier options and so you're more likely to do it. Along these lines, you need to make it as easy as possible for yourself to choose the healthier option. This is where meal prepping can be a big help because it's much easier to eat a healthy meal that you've already prepared than to actually cook a healthy meal after you've gone through a long and tiring day of work. A big reason why people eat junk food or order takeout is because of its convenience. So it's really important that you make healthy eating as convenient as possible. So this is why I really recommend pre-cutting your veggies. You can even pre-cook your whole grains, have some fruit cut up and ready to go as well. These are all things that will make you choose the healthier option, reach for the healthier op option because it's way more convenient. Make your own version when you can. A lot of your favorite unhealthy foods certainly have a more nutrient dense alternative available and it's a good idea to learn to make that to make it in a way that you enjoy so that you can have it a little more and this doesn't mean that you can never have the normal option but it's just a great way to switch it up and get some more nutrition from it from homemade pizza to homemade granola from homemade burgers to homemade oatmeal cookies there are so many different recipes to try and that you might end up liking even more than the original version create some go-to meals 
Sometimes, no matter how seriously you take your healthy eating journey, there are days where you just have no inspiration and you have no idea what to cook. And for those days, I recommend creating a few go-to meals that are healthy and balanced and that you enjoy and that you know that you can kind of cook without thinking too much about them. My personal favorites include whole wheat pasta with a fresh sauce made of tomatoes and garlic and basil. And I have that with like a side salad with some uh, spinach leaves and nuts. I also like having some brown rice that I top with a mixture of red and green beans with tomatoes and that's very quick and delicious. And for snacks, it's also good to have some ready-to-go snacks that you can have as well. I love having nut butter on bread with some fruit or like some chopped veggies with hummus. And I now make my own hummus. It takes me 30 seconds. I just put chickpeas and olive oil and lemon juice in a blender and I can't believe I used to actually buy hummus. So come up with a few of these meals, have them down, write them down somewhere and make sure that you always have the ingredients for them somewhere in your fridge or pantry and that way when you have no inspiration you know that you can always go back to these meals. Healthy eating also means enjoying your food. So now that you have all of these easy tips to eat healthy, I do want to remember that enjoying your food and taking pleasure in what you're eating is very important for health as well. While I definitely encourage you to try these tips or at least some of them, eating should remain a pleasure and you shouldn't force yourself to do any of the things that don't bring you joy or make you happy and satisfied with your meals. No food should ever be off limits and this video is to give you more tips on how to boost your nutrient intake more than to tell you which foods you should be getting rid of. Also, I really want to add that when you have a specific craving for a certain food, there is no use in trying it to replace in trying to replace it with a healthier alternative that will not make the craving go away. What will happen is that you will eat this replacement food, you will still have your craving, so you'll end up eating that food later on, and so you'll have eaten two things instead of one. So just just eat that cookie when you want it. Like I see tons of Instagram posts saying, if you're craving this, eat that. If you're craving a donut, eat an apple. No, you'll still want the donut after the apple. You won't be satisfied. And unless you're actually really hungry, in that case, it's not a craving, you're just, you're just hungry, then that won't work. Just eat your donut and move on with your day. If you're looking for easy tricks to eat healthy, I recommend trying out some healthy eating food swaps. So just an example, you can swap out your refined grains for whole grains. There are also a few food hacks that can help like sneaking all the foods that you don't like but you still want to get the nutrition from into your smoothies or even your soups. And some simple healthy eating habits like making healthier options more accessible are also worth a try. But remember that healthy eating also means enjoying your food and that you shouldn't do these tricks if they don't make you satisfied with with your meals. It should always be a moment that you enjoy and never something that's like a chore or that you feel bad about. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye!